I don't need to think about it There's nothing in this world that we can't do Flowers even mad about it Cause they can't blow like you don't I don't see a way around it Cause everything has led me straight to you It's nothing new Baby, I'm outside Been thinking about you all night I am on my way to school right now. It is 7.40. I think I'm eight to five today. I kind of have a feeling that I'm gonna get asked to stay till 5.30, so we'll see. That's my guess. <laughs> I'm honestly surprised it's Monday again. I feel like the weekend went by so, so fast. <laughs> so maybe at least the work week will go by just as fast as the weekend, maybe. Oh, this is my first time talking this vlog. Hey, I'm Anna. I'm working as a preschool teacher this summer, but I have a social work degree. I'm starting grad school in the fall. I graduated from the University of Alabama in the spring, like last spring, two months ago. I live in Atlanta. We have a fun time around here, subscribe. <laughs> but yes, I should be at school by eight. And we have an in-house field trip today. I think, I forget who's coming. I think a magician is coming. So I'll let you know how that is. So I was right and wrong. They did ask me to stay 8.30 to 5.30 every other day this week, but not today. Today, regular off at five. And a little self-advocacy moment, just to brag a little bit, wasn't sure I could do it. Was whenever I talked to my mom for like an hour on the phone yesterday, was hyping myself up to do it. I'm sure whoever I was talking to did not feel like this was a big moment at all. But basically they asked me to stay 8.30 to 5.30. And I said, I only will if someone else stays with me until 4.45. Because last week I was by myself in the classroom from four to 5.30 during pickup with all of the kids. It was overwhelming, it was crazy. And I prevented that from happening again. And so of just saying yes self-advocacy <laughs> but we did have a magician come today honestly i was amazed um blew my socks off a little bit there was a couple things where i was kind of oh i saw that little slip of the hand but there was one specifically where he was having kids hold things like a kid hold a carrot and he's like keep it tight in your hand whatever whatever and then whenever the kid opened it it like overflowed and all of a sudden there was like five that i didn't understand i could not i could not come up with the magic behind that we also had water play today and i stayed the driest that i have thus far i think Usually during water play, I always joke with the kids saying like, I need to bring my water play clothes and then change out of because I get so wet. Not today, not today. Making a smoothie, have strawberries in there. Get some PB. I just did 12, 3.30 at the gym on the treadmill. How was your day today? I already did a little update in my car before I walked in. It was pretty good. Nice. Here's the workout outfit for workout today. It's almost 6 a.m., like 5.50 right now. I'm going to do arms today because I haven't in a very long time and I can like tell that I'm losing muscle. It's kind of funny. There's a gate that we have to walk through to get in here, like outside. Every time I walk through it, I walk through a spider web. So I'm like still feeling the spidey on me and mm, not pleasant. It was hard to wake up this morning, but good workout ahead of us. The workout was fine. Not too good, not too bad. I'm still getting the swing of things after taking some time, not necessarily some time off, but some time not being like as hardcore as I used to be. I went and checked the mail on the way back and Zach's grandma sent me this very cute graduation card, which, I don't know, was so sweet and really very unexpected. And then I also sent like a little check inside and said, spend this on something frivolous, which I'm one that typically, if I get like money as gifts, we'll use it towards like groceries, gas, like that kind of thing, which is still like helpful, but I feel like the fact that she specifically said spend it on something frivolous means I have some shopping to do which is exciting so many reasons you should care don't stay looking out the window this is my first lunch outside in like a week or so because it keeps having rained before I come outside for lunch and right now it looks like it's about to dump like any minute any second but right now it is not so I'm out here for now here's for lunch today really pretty strawberries it's raining Gotta head in. Got a good like five minutes outside. Okay, show us your outfit. Where'd uh, you get it? Munich, Germany. Uh huh. Eddie Bauer. <laughs> Here's my teacher outfit. Happy Wednesday. I slept in today instead of working out just to get that extra rest, get that extra little feel good sleep time. And then I spent breakfast editing a video. I got one ready for tomorrow, which is Thursday. And then I'm starting on my next Tuesday one, which feels really good. Makes me feel ahead of schedule, productive. Like I said, doing good. Last night I just watched the Bachelor episode and was also editing. And so lots of editing in the past few, I don't know, hours, I guess. <laughs> which is why there hasn't been much vlog footage because that's boring to watch. But 
on my way to preschool. It's gonna be a good day again today. Oh, something I'll find out today is I put in a time off request. Oh my goodness, that hair is going up. I put in a time off request for like a week and a half from now because I want to see my family for a few more hours when I get the chance. And I feel like I remember upon hire, I was told none of my time off requests would be granted because I'm only employed for two months. But I still did it just in case because I have been racking up PTO. So I feel like I could be able to use it. And I only did it for four hours, but I'll find out today. I'm expecting a no, but a yes would be a nice surprise. So I'll let you know when I know. I've been able to have an outside break so far for lunch. I had like 25 minutes left and a big thing of thunder just happened, but hopefully I'll get a finish out here. It's been a good day so far. Nothing, nothing too descript at all. Kiddos are fun. I just had the best workout that I had in a while. Honestly, I need to be better at still like pushing myself on bad days, but today it like felt good. And so then I like did extra good with a positive feedback loop, but I'm glad to have had a good workout. Cause like I said, it's been a while. I haven't really made it back in 13 since moving into our new apartment totally. And I've been noticing the changes to say the least, but happy Thursday. After workout in the morning, I come back and put just like a little bit, this much of almond milk with some protein to get it in really quickly. All right, my coffee machine over there. I think the goal number is like within 20 minutes of your workout is most effective. But look that up because I don't actually know that. All right, so I'm up in our loft and I just wanted to show you, as you know, I did this bookshelf yesterday, which I'm excited for. I like how it turned out. The only thing is I'm gonna have to figure out if we're gonna anchor it, because I think that would be smart to do, because as you can see, it's not, it doesn't like sit naturally against the wall, but I've never done that before or had someone do that around me. So I have no idea how to do it. I also don't know like what the like rental, how much we can drill in the wall. We're like gonna have to figure that out because I have no idea. But then I also built Zach's desk and this one isn't totally done. There's still screws like coming under to attach the top that I need to do, but I'm going to need to do it when Zach is home. I don't know if you can see this, but there's like, it's a little bit uneven right here. There's a little bit more of a gap on this side than this side. So I'm gonna need him to like push it together as I do the final screws so that it'll be straight, stay together. Something I did not know I was signing up for by doing these is look at all of this trash. I hate this. So much styrofoam too. So it really is just trash, not even recycling. What we're gonna do though, I'm gonna give you a better perspective. Okay, I'm standing by the stairs now. We're gonna do those Zach desk is gonna go against this corner with the L coming out. My desk is over here. And then we're gonna turn this rug like horizontal. That's not the permanent seating. That's just a little chair. But once we get the desks figured out, we'll know kind of more how much space to, I don't know, look for chairs in. I really want like a grandpa chair, like a wingback chair, but I don't know if we'll be able to get that up the spiral staircase. <laughs> So we'll see. Other options are just like poofs or beanbag, but the goal is for this to be like have cozy area and then also have obviously the desk areas. But I built two pieces of furniture yesterday, so feeling pretty handy. You are propped on my mouthwash right now just to give a little more height. <laughs> I figured I'd show a quick little like how I get ready because I have a new makeup routine. I have no makeup technique, but I do have a routine. I just started using. Oh my gosh, are you doing the get ready with me too? Yo. <laughs> I just started using 
this sunscreen and I wasn't sure about it because I hate the feeling of like goopiness at all on your face, but I know that SPF is very important. And this just works like a primer for me. I don't notice a difference in like shininess or feeling oily or anything throughout the day. So, Nutritrina Clear Face. 50 SPF. If you see me looking youthful and not affected by the sun at all, don't text. It's because I just started putting sunscreen on my face. But I'm going to sunscreen and do a little powder action. It's actually a super old powder, e.l.f. like color correcting. And I have a different powder, but I'm just trying to use this one up since I've had it for maybe like four years. But I think that doing the sunscreen and then doing the powder makes the powder like adhere more. And it definitely, what, like mattifies, <laughs> makes me not shiny, which is pretty nice. And it lasts kind of the whole day, which is also very nice. Next, I wouldn't always do this, except my black circles, my dark circles have been looking purple lately. Um, and I noticed that putting just a little bit under, this isn't even concealer, this is foundation. <laughs> A little bit under the eye, and I usually spread it kind of around the eyelid too. It really helps brighten and grow up, make it look like I'm not just tired all the time. Okay, next I'm using the same brush that I did powder with and doing like a bronzer. And I literally just do this all over the place because it is summer and I'm supposed to be tan and I'm not. Because I spend all day in the school, not in the sun. Alrighty, should we do highlighter today? Maybe just for a little fans. A little fans of schmance. For eyebrows, I can't tell you what I use because the words, I don't know if you can see that, the words are all rubbed off so I really don't know. But it's just like a clear brow gel and I just make them stand up. <laughs> I really don't have arches in my eyebrows, like almost at all, but I feel like doing this gives them like i don't know a little bit of lift all right then we just go in mascara and are done so i'll show you when when i'm all ready for the day here's the finished look you know groundbreaking never been seen before just kidding this is like uh, you know, the everyday look. I do my makeup in 10 minutes or less, <laughs> typically. I felt really confused this morning because my hair is like last day, like dirty last day. And usually I wash it about every six days. And so I've made it like fall on the weekends, pretty much the whole summer. I don't think I've washed my hair on a weekday the whole time that I've been working. And today I was like, I'm going to need to wash my hair tonight. Like it's it's dirty up in there. And I was trying to think why, why, why? It's because whenever I went to Six Flags on Saturday, which I explained in a different video, when we got like totally soaked in rain, I washed my hair on Saturday, which was a day earlier than like I usually would try to. And so now I'm gonna wash my hair on a weekday for the first time in a long time. You know, just trying new things in spontaneous. <laughs> Here was the outfit of the day today. I always just wear like a plain tee and then jeans. And then like the tees and jeans change, but it's always just a plain tee and jeans. Today was a really good day. We only had 16 kids, just for like various reasons, various absences, whereas sometimes we have like upwards of 22. So I just made it, obviously missed them, but it made it a much easier day because there wasn't that many kids, which was really great. Like honestly, maybe my best day of work thus far, as I only have two weeks and one day left. <laughs> Okay, this is by far the most casual that I have ever planned to dress to school. But really we don't have like a look nice dress code type thing. It's just like a modesty guidelines, you know, like regular teacher type jobs. And so I'm wearing gray joggers and a little black tee. And I feel kind of wild about it, even though like it for real is totally fine. <laughs> yesterday, let's see. Oh, yesterday we went grocery shopping, which I did not know we were going to do. And so I didn't really vlog that much at night because, am I focused? So I didn't vlog that much at night just because we were, we were doing things, you know. But I did, I think I showed it. I had that like Chobani probiotic drink because there was a buy one get one free coupon. It ended up being really good. This morning I laid in bed for quite a long time. It's like 6.40 right now. but I realized that I, this is like such a loophole excuse. I realized I forgot to wash my hair last night, like I was going to. And so then I was like, well, then I'm just gonna work out tonight instead of this morning, cause then I can just go straight from like sweaty to a nice washed hair. Nice washed head of hair. And so that was why I decided to sleep in today. <laughs> um, today's Friday, as you probably know by now, Today is like tacky or backwards day for the preschoolers, which I sometimes participate in the like spirit days. I'm not today. I guess unless my joggers are tacky.
Mikey. And then let's see what else. We usually do popsicles on Fridays and then tomorrow's the weekend. So those are all the fun things. We also have to like change their cot sheets on Fridays and like make sure everything gets sent home, which I think I might've mentioned this yesterday. I'll cut the clips to make sure that things are repetitive. But yesterday was like the easiest or like least stressful day of work I've had so far. And honestly, the big change is that the kids are now allowed to go out in the playground in the back for an hour like during pickup and so there's a lot less like needing to keep them busy because whenever they're outside they can keep themselves busy really easily and then by the time we come back in there's just like four kids left for pickup and all of them are like, really worn out and so it just makes it a whole lot easier on the adult in charge and so I'm hoping that today is the same way too it actually should be because all of the kids who were absent yesterday are gonna be absent today too and then like one extra like we're just like not gonna have a lot of kids today which is random and weird but yeah, it's fine. It's whatever. Okay, I'm starving, so let's go get breakfast. Let's go get coffee. Let's get started for our last last day of the week. Oh, and it's payday. Happy payday. If you have blonde hair and wonder what I don't I don't think you'd ever wonder this. Basically, I just put dry shampoo in and now I'm a silver fox. I think it's supposed to like work itself. I actually don't know how dry shampoo works, but I am a silver fox. <laughs> I want to show you what I've done up in the loft because I spent a lot of time there both yesterday and the day before that. Obviously, there's still like junk around that needs to find a home, but I built Zach's desk, which is right here, and then my desk is on the opposite side. So, a lot of well. I cannot call RBG junk. There is not junk, there are things <laughs> around still to get put away. But I built Zach's desk over here, and then I also built, as you know, that bookshelf. But then I also turned the rug 90 degrees just to give a nice little like cozy area back there. And I think it's turning out really good. Like I think once things are put away, and all, it'll look very nice. I still just love walking up and down my spiral staircase. I cannot look at you as I walk or else I will fall. No way. Do you see that too? It's already sprouted. I potted this on Sunday. Today is Friday. That is incredible. I chickened out of my jogger outfit. Like I said, there's nothing like, it's not against the rules. Like people wear joggers, like even sweatpants, leggings, but for it just feels wrong to me. Like not for them. It feels fine when other people do it, but I just, <laughs> I couldn't do it myself. So now I'm just wearing the same jeans I've worn all week and then a just like very basic black t-shirt. The other day, because I wear tees, but like I can't wear t-shirts because even though none of the t-shirts I have are like vulgar or anything, they just are all of different things. And so like at the school, I don't know, you can wear school t-shirts basically and that's it. I don't have any. So I just like have these like basic tees that I just have been like rotating between. I have like four or five that I rotate between. One day this week, a kid asked me, he's like, Miss Anna, why do you always wear the same shirt? And part of me wanted to be like, because in real life, I'm not boring enough to just wear like a red t-shirt that has nothing on it all the time. So like, I just don't own that many of them. But I told him, I was like, I actually have like four. <laughs> I have four shirts that I wear, thank you. Not to be ridiculously bougie, but we have salmon for lunch today. I'm very hot, it's a Friday. Not for any particular reason, other than literally it just being Friday. Another good day at preschool, done. It is hot outside though. I am headed to the library because I have one book to pick up that's been on hold and then I have to return Little Fires everywhere. So a little book review before I do. I actually finished it today at lunch and I thought that I was not gonna be able to because I thought there was about 30 more pages than there actually was in the book. I was fully prepared to like sit in my car and finish it right now and then take it to the library. But don't even do that, finish it today. It was good, it was good. I enjoyed reading it, I liked picking it up. There were times when it kind of felt like, like I was like listening to some good gossip, you know, like that kind of feeling. I'm like, no way, like that kind of thing <laughs> throughout the book. Just as you like find things out. I will say like, it's not one that I'm just gonna read and like not think about again. Like it definitely was thought provoking. It was good, I do recommend it. There were some characters that I just like didn't care about. Like, I don't know if that means they were underdeveloped. I like, I don't, really know how books work or how books are good but there was a couple of times through it that it would like I don't know it would like make a claim that like two characters like really close like best friends and I would kind of be like really like they are like it just does that make sense like it was like at times the book didn't convince me but overall I would still recommend it because the story was really good so happy it's Friday we 
might have a change of plans. The library closes at 6, which I knew, but I just didn't think about how close that was to right now at 5.40, folks. 5.46. Right now my ETA is 5.58. I think what I'm gonna do is try to go and try to beat my ETA, but if I'm not more than five minutes, like if I don't get there before 5.55, then I'll just lose my hold that they're holding until today. Like I can, I can really put a hold on it, it's fine. I just feel bad. <laughs> and I'll just return this book tomorrow because this book's actually due tomorrow, but it was the hold that's been due today, which is why I wanted to make it today. But I don't wanna be that kind of person to walk in with five, like less than five minutes till closing. I really, I thought I had so much time in the world and I don't, I don't. I just wanna show that I'm on a one-way street. My goal is to go this way, like on that road. And I just don't think there's a single way to do that. You'd have to cross through oncoming traffic and that left turn lane that's just at a standstill right there. Look, I'm already, I'm already masked up. I got my library card in hand and I just don't think I'll be making it. I actually don't know how I will be leaving this specific area that I'm in. I think I might have to like U-turn or something. Ah, I guess I'm losing that hold. Oh well. I feel, I mostly just feel bad for the library for wasting their time. Thanks for joining this little week in my life vlog. I don't think I emphasize all of the time how important it is to subscribe if you watch these videos or if you enjoyed this video. So please do so just for the support. It really helps my channel as well as giving a little like to the video is so easy and really helps promote my videos or just comment literally anything you want to. It just makes me feel so encouraged. It makes me smile, but most importantly subscribe so you can stick around and see what's coming in life. That makes it sound like really important things are coming. But you know, just live life with me in these little video scrapbooks. I appreciate each and every one of you. And like I said, thank you so much for being here in this little moment with me. And I'll see you next time.